टूडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग समथिंग विद यू दैट इज वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट दिस वन थिंग हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म माई लाइफ इन मोर वेज देन वन इट हैज बेसिकली चेंज हु आई एम आई एम नॉट द सेम पर्सन एनी मोर आई वॉज टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बैक दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पैक्टफुल थिंग दैट आई हैव एवर डन एंड मोटिवेटेड पीपल टू डू विद इनक्रेडिबल रिजल्ट इन फैक्ट You can say that I get a lot of satisfaction when I see people taking it up in their lives. So then, finally I thought, let me share it with my dear aligned souls as well. Namaste. I am Gargi and you are watching the Aligned Souls where we talk about mind, body and soul. Let's dive in. In this video we will be talking about meditation. My intention behind making this video is to motivate you to start meditation because I believe that meditation is the ultimate gift one can have in this lifetime. I have been meditating for many years now and the journey has been miraculous. In the initial years I didn't know much about it and it was just a means for me to relax. I used to do Brahma Kumari's Sister Shivani's 15 minute guided meditation whenever I felt tired. It used to recharge me in just 15 minutes as against sleeping for a couple of hours or more. And that started my meditation journey. Slowly and steadily, I kind of just got pulled more and more into the practice. When my daughter started kindergarten, after dropping her off I would rush back home and meditate for straight 2 hours. It was very very peaceful. It helped me stay calm the whole day. The time we usually think is very exhausting with young kids and a busy household turned out to be a blessing for me. Any time gaps I got, I would meditate. In the past few years, I got to know of different kinds of meditations and started enjoying them. I noticed changes in my external world and my temperament towards things and situations i learned some valuable lessons along the journey which i will be sharing with you in this video first let's understand what is meditation in today's time our mind is never still either we have anger or sadness for the past or we worry about the future we are never in the now never in the present moment we are always thinking and have about 60 to 70000 thoughts going on in our heads in one day meditation helps us to experience deep relaxation and be fully present in the moment this helps to calm the mind increase mindfulness and improve concentration and awareness people usually confuse meditation to be a thoughtless state whereas it is just the opposite you observe your thoughts and become aware of them while you are meditating you get a thought and you just say okay this is my thought and get back to your meditation so eventually you become aware of your thoughts which otherwise go unnoticed with practice this becomes a habit and you are able to catch your thoughts even when you are going about your daily chores and are not meditating it is a very profound experience actually let me share one with you in the middle of a discussion suddenly i would actually start hearing what the other person was trying to say it was as if a small voice in my head would say he means well he means well listen usually when we are in an argument we are so engrossed in proving our point that we fail to understand the other person's point of view listening to that little voice in my head saved me many nasty arguments i started loving this new me this is just one of the many pleasant changes i observed though i love all types of meditations my personal favorite is the simplest anapana meditation where you just sit cross leg and focus on your breath i also like to go for walking and grounding meditation i have a few guided meditations on the channel i will share the link in the description below staying in the present 
throughout the day while doing all the regular tasks is another way of being mindful and becoming aware of your thoughts on the micro level the ideal time to meditate is a very personal choice i feel some people prefer early mornings while others prefer the time before going to bed early morning the energy of the environment is very positive and this favors your meditation so if you are a beginner and trying to establish a meditation practice then i would suggest choosing early mornings otherwise please don't fuss about the time in case you struggle with busy mornings then do it any time of the day being comfortable with your practice is of utmost importance i know of a very sweet guy who got rid of his incurable disease using meditations and he prefers to meditate in the evening as he says that he is unable to focus in the morning and keeps thinking about the action items for the day so just meditate any time any place it really doesn't matter consistency will give you the results rather than the time of the day how does the journey look like when you start meditation initially it is a little bumpy ride as expected whenever you start something new it takes a while to get used to it meditation is no different i'm telling you this not to discourage you but to brace you for what's coming because i have seen many examples where initially the person was very excited to start meditation but gradually that excitement fades away and then they don't want to meditate any longer because they didn't see any results meditation is not a magic pill that you will have today and all your worries health issues relationship problems etc will just disappear the very next day having said that i can assure you that if you are consistent and don't give up then meditation is the only thing you will ever need to end all your problems trust me on this one the hiccups that you might expect are number 1 a rampage of thoughts the moment you sit to meditate you will remember all the things you could be doing in place of meditating all the pending work office work exercising cooking that needs to be done grocery shopping presentations yoga etc will start showing up in your head understand it's okay to get these thoughts just observe them and then get back to your meditation i won't be sharing how to deal with these thoughts in this video as i have created a separate one for that how to meditate for beginners i will share the link in the description below number 2 sleep you will find yourself going off to sleep more often than not especially when doing the lying down meditation our mind and body associate sleep with the bed and that's why by the law of association every time you lie down and meditate on your bed you doze off it is advisable to have a dedicated place in your house to meditate it's okay even if it's a small place like your meditation corner or a small room doing so will enhance your practice because again by the law of association your mind and body will start associating that place with meditation secondly nowadays our rest and sleep are forever competing with social media phone calls netflix late night parties etc our bodies and mind are tired and the quietness gives them deep rest but then sleep also acts as an obstacle in our meditation practice so please keep attempting learning and growing some days you will succeed and some days you will fall asleep it is okay the universe loves to see our attempts and then it supports us now let's see the stages you go through once you decide to meditate consistently the first stage is meeting your light self after a month or two of meditating regularly you will experience a deep inner peace and calmness the quality of your life will improve 
and you will feel happier you will be more focused and the small things that used to irritate you earlier will not bother you anymore your sleep will improve your cravings will go down and you will live a more conscious life the second stage is meeting your shadow self once you meditate long enough you will observe some not so pleasant aspects about yourself this is your shadow self we all have one meditation helps to calm the conscious mind which is otherwise always chattering this allows us to see what we carry at the subconscious and the unconscious levels of our minds you may unearth fears anger negative beliefs etc the enormous amount of cosmic energy that flows through you once you meditate helps clear all these negative thoughts feelings and emotions it is like weeding and as you keep clearing you will feel extremely light these emotions weigh heavily on us and drain our energy i am currently at this stage meeting your true self once you unearth all the crap that does not serve you anymore you will discover pure bliss this is your true self you will know that you are not your body or your mind you are the soul a pure being of love and light but you might say my life is going great i have no issues then why should i meditate why should i take the trouble of going through all these stages when i don't need it meditation is for everybody it is not necessary that you have some crisis in your life and then only you start meditating which is actually what i find most people doing in real life they meditate when life hits rock bottom but can you for a second imagine the mental state of a person in turmoil how easy do you think it would be to learn a new skill in that state of mind extremely difficult i have seen people break down due to their struggles and are unable to imagine that something as subtle as meditation can bring them out of their extreme situations so please don't wait for the right time or for life to give you a need to meditate just do it it's the only thing that is most important as osho said meditation is actually the highest everything else is secondary you will not miss much by missing a few days of sleep food or water but usually people give much more importance to such petty things you will not gain anything by doing them neither will you be a loser by not doing them but god is attained through meditation if you do not meditate you will not know what you were to gain and what you have missed the greatest misfortune that can befall upon people is that they never come to know what they have lost so please devote time space and energy to meditation give it a try and trust me you will not regret it thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind body and soul